Ali. Just leave it Northern General Hospital. Me and his lordship. Just put a seat bolt on. You should never know they'll start saying yeah, the seat bolt on. Right, we're off. Bring your loved ones into care. Morning Dave. Morning everybody. Mr. Hemingham, it's Friday by the way, I don't know when I'll put this on. Uh, but Mr. Hemingham's off after today for a week. He's got nine days off. And, uh, I have, yeah. Lucky me. Lucky David. So, I'm going to be all by my lonesome next week. Not good, is it? Dave's not bothered. Couldn't care less. I'll just go and get my violin. He's got his Viagra and he's taking his violin, that's what he said. So, we're off down to sunny, where is it? Office. Give me a second, I'm just going to get this. Hello? Hello, can I... All right, can I can I call you back? Cause I'm just on YouTube. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Then. Okay, babe. Bye, bye, bye. Not disrupt YouTube. If anybody says he's using his phone while he's driving, it's hands free. You only have to pick it up and touch it. So it's hands free. See, it's got a speaker on it, so it's not whining. I don't drive around like this. It's hands free. You can actually work it off this thing. Because all you do, some vermin will have a go, ain't it, today? It's way at society. So, anyway, where are we off to, Dave? Isle of White. Isle of White. It's off down at Isle of White. Him and Everard. Dawn. Everard's making his own way down, though, isn't he? He is, uh... Dawn doesn't know he's going. Why should be mad? So, anyway, looking forward to it, kid, aren't I? I am, yeah. Is that tonight? If anybody's round Nevergreen, is it Nevergreen or Junior's uh, tonight? Nevergreen. Nevergreen, if you, is anybody that in uh, Gillamage tonight? They can you buy me a pint. Fancy buying Mrs. Remingham a pint? In fact, because he's off for a week, if anybody's down on Nevergreen in club, he'll buy your pint tonight because he's off for a week. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him 50 quid today. Because he's a diamond, this bloke. And I'm going to put 50 quid in his hand to get anybody a drink in Nevergreen. So if you ain't Nevergreen, go out today and say, I want a drink out of that money, that 50 quid. Have a drink on me to eat in Nevergreen, anybody. We'll do that. How good is that, Dave? It is, yeah. That's providing I get you 50 quid. That's providing I don't go in when I make sure I'm on my own. <laughs> That's what he'll do, I'll tell you. Seriously. You know what he'll do? He'll put, I forgot that money is in house. And then when he's down in uh, wherever he's going to, where are you going to? Isle of White. Isle of White. By the way, for the last couple of weeks I've been shocking, I've been falling asleep. I do think it's sleep apnea that I'm getting. Uh, but I don't think it were, I think it would be metformin tablets, diabetes tablets. This is how mental this it is sometimes. Doctor says to me, take one tablet four times a day. So I says, right, so I've been having them at eight o'clock, twelve o'clock, four o'clock and eight o'clock. It says on the box, one tablet four times a day. That's what I've been doing. Went to see a diabetic nurse a couple of weeks since. She says to me, uh, no, you're doing it wrong. You take two in the morning, two in the afternoon. So I said, well, I've been feeling all right, doing it right, doctor says, don't listen to doctor. I'm the nurse, you listen to me. It's only about me 12. Anyway, I says, all right. So I starts taking them out. She says, take them. Oh, I've been shocking. Honestly, serious. Thought I were dying. Honestly. Uh, couldn't keep awake, could I, Dave? Seriously. No, no you're just asleep all the time. No energy, just dropping off. Zonked. I says, I 
can't put up with this. Anyway, when I see doctor, well, I doctors up and I says, I'm just not right, there's something wrong with me. I'm pissing for England. I'm drinking gallons of pop. I mean, and to prove it, right, so I've got that beer, put that back down that sleeve, and I've got this here. I'm drinking continuous Werner. And uh, I went to see the doctor and I says, she says, well, how long has it been, little Pakistani doctor, she's lovely. How long has it been started from Michael? Uh, this feeling like this? I says, well, since I see the nurse. And she said to me, you do what I say. I'm diabetic nurse. You take two in the morning, two in the afternoon. I says, a couple of days after that, I'm just shocking. How long's it been going on for? I says, two or three weeks. She says, why don't you drop your dose? I says, I ain't got a clue. She says, you're on fast release metformin. And that's why you take it four times a day. If you only have it twice a day, two in the morning, two in the afternoon, you should be on slow release. So, can't wait to go back to the doctors down on see uh, Duke Street Medical Centre and said to that nurse, fucked up right there, didn't you? Lucky I weren't dead or going in an IPO because you didn't drop the medication. You had to go at me. You do what I told you to do. I told I did what she told me to do, nearly killed me then. So I, I like her, don't get me wrong, she's a lovely little lass. She's been eating new bread because she's got a big stomach. Aren't she, Dave? She has that. Uh, she's like a lot, but she's having a baby. Uh, but when she come in, I says, Dad's been eating new bread. She didn't know what I was on about. She's only about 12, 13. She's only a kid. But she had a bit of a go at me. She says, you do what I told you to do. It's two in the morning, two in the afternoon. But it isn't. It isn't. Well, it is, but drop the doors. Anyway, this new doctor, this little Pakistani boss, she's said, like, she, says give you a prescription you're going on to slow release take two in the morning two in the afternoon feel brilliant absolutely buzzing honestly full of energy at it again i'm on with you so my advice is don't think you know everything you know, check things out because if she'd have checked and she'd have seen what is on fast release then she could have lowered my dose and I'd have been alright with it. Anyway, back to you. Yeah. It's all yours. I don't know much to say really, other than... How are you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling alright today. But then again. But then again. It's last day for a one holiday, so... Yeah, it's only I 10 will past be, 11. Won't I? I'll go today. Am I paying you while you're away as well? Do you get paid? Uh, Do you get yeah. holiday pay? Yeah. Yeah, Cheryl pays me now. Yeah. Alright. So you get paid even though you're not working? Yeah. I feel like you while you're asleep. Yeah. Uh, Alright, Dave. Yeah. We'll skip past that one. We'll skip past that. Uh, we've just been on service for Raymond uh, at City Road. I looked after Ray's son a few years since, and then sadly Ray's wife passed away. And now Ray's passed away, and his daughter's lovely. Kelly, she's absolutely lovely. Uh, and my heart goes out to that kid, it really, really does. So we've done that funeral, Michelle's the funeral director just took them back and me and Dave's come back and shot down to hospital uh, to obviously bring loved ones into care. It's busy isn't it? And then we're back out again. Yeah we've got to go back in now to office and then we've got to uh, get everything ready and we're back out again. I think we're about one o'clock at City one Road, aren't we? At City funeral then we're back in and then I think we're back out bringing people into care Again, yeah. it never Stop stops yeah. 
it just never ever luckily we've only got two funerals today uh, which is brilliant because it's Friday and we're like winding down a bit now Dave's not in next week, so it's me on my lonesome again, like I said. I'll have to do everything. I'll be in more No point in riding clutch. Oh, road clutch all that time, and that's changed. Uh, yeah. So I put, we made some videos earlier this week, and I haven't put them on because I'm just not, I weren't in right frame of mind, actually. Oh, that will have car again, it's not. Uh, Road works, but this way, not going that way. Good job I saw that. Yeah. This road works. Because yeah, we didn't come that way, did we? No, we didn't. We came through Wyburn. I'm on Moultravers Road now, we're going through Wyburn. Uh, I love Wyburn. People on Wyburn are absolute diamonds. They are, honestly. Uh, and this is where two very good friends of mine live Karen and John Bonzel and they've got a little dog called Ted and he's lovely I haven't met Ted yet uh, I've seen pictures of him and he looks absolutely gorgeous so they just live on here uh, Karen and John on the left hand side just off Old Travis lovely couple absolute diamonds there's a lot of people on here who I know. And 